This is Preddy, school librarian, here today to share a book I just read, The Traitor's Game by Jennifer Nielsen. In this fantasy story of espionage and betrayal, Kestra is returning home after three years in exile. Even with Kestra's specialized training in the use of sword and disc bow, she is captured by Korak rebels on her way home. Simon was one of the rebels ordered to guard Kestra, while they force her to give in to their demands. In this story, everyone has their secrets, everyone has their reasons for what they do, everyone thought they were right, and there Simon and Kestra were right in the middle of all that danger. The author really pulled me into this story with the world she built and her alternating narrators of Kestra and Simon. Telling from the perspective of Kestra, then the next scene would be from Simon's viewpoint. The novel includes action, romance, clues to a grand mystery to solve, the fantastical lands of a different world, and as our hero Kestra foreshadows, when I complete my quest against Lord Endrick, I will name you king. If that doesn't hook you into Kestra and Simon's epic adventure, listen to the book's introduction. In a traitor's game, there are no winners, only those left standing at the end. Cheat or be cheated, crush or be crushed, play or be killed. The next move is mine. And that is The Traitor's Game by Jennifer Nielsen.